Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and it's finally time for my room tour video. I'm super super excited. This has been something I've wanted to try for such a long time now. I'm going to go through first and just show you everything without talking just a just you know a general overview so everyone can see what I got and then I'm going to move on and do everything talking and I'll explain everything talk about my stuff show it around and uh, just know if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer them but without further ado let's take a look at what we got. And now it's time for the in-depth look at my room. Uh, we're going to start off over here and take a look at these CMFs. I have all of them on the back of some Lego tape. It's just kind of tape with some studs on it, which I was able to put the stands on. And they're all here organized by series uh, and the order of which they appeared in that series. A little nerdy, I know. And they just go from 1 all the way over to 20. Hopefully, I'll have series 21 very, very soon to do a review for you guys. And then they kind of taper off right there. And then that's like halfway through series 20. Then we jump down to here. And I got the rest of those going that way. You can see I then start with the licensed stuff. We got Unikitty, Simpsons, uh, DC. We got Lego Movie, uh, Disney, and all that stuff. And that's, that's pretty much all of them. Although you might be realizing there's a couple missing. I do have a separate display case for minifigures. I'll show you in a second. But while we're here, uh, take a look at, I've got the LEGO Dimensions portal right here, and then the Hedwig model, the flat bowl. I was able to lock it in place to get the wings in the up-ended position, which I think looks pretty cool. On my desk, we also have this little monster from Far From Home. We got uh, the Mandalorian battle packs, these two terrifying little animal builds, and then just some other Marvel stuff over there. Now, I'm only talking about Lego stuff for now. After I finish talking about the Lego, I'm going to move on and talk about the not Lego stuff, so bear with me a little bit. On this shelf, we have all of the uh, Lego Chinese New Year sets, which I love. They are beautiful, and I love them all displayed together. It looks so cool. Above that, we have the UCS Hogwarts Castle. This looks so, so cool. It's such a massive, massive build. And then moving over here, we have the Iron Man Hall of Armor, which you've seen before in our videos, but there's a better look at it now displayed right next to the micro-scale Diagon Alley, the full-scale Avengers Tower, the micro-scale Avengers Tower, and Diagon Alley itself, which I put all the extra minifigures from my Harry Potter display table, which you'll see in just a second. Moving back down, we have Ninjago City, and this build is fully outfitted with a ton of Easter eggs and extra Ninjago minifigures. Swinging around to the back uh, gives you an idea of what I mean. Uh, if we can see back there, yeah, there's a ton of stuff. And everything here is full of all the next gen Ninjago characters. It's kind of stuffed in there. Then over here, we got some Mandalorians. And then we have a bunch of different Marvel vehicles that I had no idea what to do with. We got some of the mechs there and some seasonal builds. And then Shelob, of course, is hanging right there. Moving back over here, we have my amazing uh, Marvel Heroes display. I have pretty much every hero. Most of them are customs. A lot of them are purists. I mean, most of these are like official lego minifigures but then moving on the back we get a lot more custom figures and gives you an idea of if you guys want to see a review of any of these minifigures i know i've slacked on the custom minifigure uh, wednesdays but feel free to ask me to bring them back i've also got a little special display here of some minifigures my sig fig the lester figure some like exclusive book characters some really wonky terrifying pigs and that uh turtle and then just some really cool minifigures on the bottom 
And then we have my three shelf shelf here, which I just installed. On the lowest ranking, we have the uh, Skull Sorcerer's Dungeon, which I had to uh, mess up a tiny bit to get it to fit. Uh, those pieces just in the back. And then I got that set, and then the expansion piece, and then the little uh, side things from the Skull Sorcerer's Dragon. All of it goes there to think what I think is a really cool play set build. Moving up, we have the Sanctum Centurium Showdown, and then the TARDIS, of course, you know, just uh, in the middle of New York City. And we got the Avengers Compound, and I know New Jersey, New York, a little different, but uh, they look good on display together. And moving up, we have the Will Byers uh, House right here from Stranger Things with the Upside Down. Looks really cool. Definitely one of my favorite, favorite Lego sets. And then moves us to this bookshelf, and I love books, so I'll talk more about that later. And they also make great display pieces for Lego. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Here we have my Ninjago stuff, and this is the stuff that didn't fit Ninjago City. It's got like the Gamers Market, the Legacy, uh, smaller version of the Samurai X Mac, some of these like $10 sets, then the Showdown, the Thornum Showdown, which looks so cool. I love those minifigures. We got some of those gimmick builds, these uh, Spinjitzu Bursts. We got some stuff from Flying Things I hung that I didn't know what to do with. We got that little pot I reviewed a while ago and some arcade sets. Again, if you want to see a review of anything, let me know in the comments down below. Moving up, we have our Lego Movie 2 shelf, and there's just the double-decker, or triple-decker couch, excuse me. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm saying there. And there's a bunch of characters there. We got Queen Whatever I Want to Be. We got the Benny Space Friends and Unikitty Super Sweet Friends. We got some Polly Bags, Ultra Kitty, uh, the Sewer Babies, which look great. Uh, Batman's Your Welcome Throne. And then kind of out of place, we have the Doctor Who uh, set with uh, the Stranger Things plaque with my custom Captain Jack minifigure, which I'm very pleased with. And we have some just uh, miscellaneous cars. And moving up, we have some brickheads. Now, I displayed most of my brickheads on the window, as you saw. These are the guys that didn't really fit, the seasonal ones that have the extra large stands. And so I put them all here because they, they, they got some width to them, honestly. Then we got some miscellaneous stuff up here. Uh, brick, uh, The brick, which uh, the stand I'm actually using to hold my phone. You'll see that later. We got the Scorpion Bionicle, some Comic-Con sets, Hero Factory, Maui. Uh, another Bionicle set, another Comic-Con set, although Red Guardian is missing because he's on display. Moving up, we have the rest of the Brickheads that weren't displayed there. These are all like the Disney ones, plus the two elves, which, I mean, they could be Disney, Disney honestly. And we got a uh, really, really cute uh, set. I pretty much got this set for the dinosaur because Dilophosauruses are my favorite. We got a newspaper stand. I think that was an exclusive uh, giveaway with a modular. And then the popcorn poly bag, the dinosaur poly bag there, and then some really terrifying uh, large-scale builds. We got some Mixels up top, the London bus, the Creeper and Ocelot Big Figs, and then the Tuscan Raider. If you guys want to see a review of that set, let me know. I did just get it at Wegmans. It was on clearance, actually, believe it or not. And we're going to stand up here and get a better look at the top shelf. Over here, we have some of these seasonal poly bags. And then we have a bunch of Lego Dimension stuff. There's some cars over there. A whole ton of characters up top. And then some more of the actual vehicles and other style builds up there. Uh, these are just like my favorites display. And I put all the extras in a box you'll see later. Moving on, though, that's all for that shelf. Over here, we have my headboard. We got some T-Rexes facing off. We have the a couple poly bags there that I really enjoyed. And then the 501st Battle Pack, of course. A dragon that I probably should hang up. And some minion sets with my Deadpool plushie uh, scaring away the minions. You can see they're kind of running. And then we're going to slide over here. And that brings us over here to our display for brickheads. We got the snitch builds uh, from 2018. And then all of the Harry Potter brickheads with Bucky facing the wrong way. Kind of broke the neck there, but it was a really difficult display. Then we got some really cool brickheads, Star Wars, uh, non-licensed, DC, Marvel, all that stuff. It's fun. I've got a little display thing here right now. There's nothing in there except some miscellaneous pieces from the extra Skull Sorcerer display. Uh, there's nothing too much over there. A uh, bin of Lego there. That's one of uh, several bins I have. That one's all classic space for my father when he was a kid. Over here, another bookshelf. Nothing on that except on the top here. We got a whole ton of Minecraft sets. These are some of my favorite Minecraft sets that I have built. I have a bunch more that are broken. You'll see, uh, you'll see the remains pretty soon, but there's some really nice sets there. And then we have right here, we got the Fantastic Beasts display. We've got some Marvel sets down there. We've got the, oh, that's backwards. I must have, I, I filmed something else real quick and I must have put that backwards. I'll have to flip those around. There we go, much better. We got the Burrow and Privet Drive with some minifigure stands there. And then underneath we have the Lego Mario World. And let's see, can I get a good view of that? There we go. And there's the Lego Mario World. And I'm very pleased with how this came out. Everything's interconnected and it's on cardboard so it does pull out. I'll show you what that looks like now. And that's what that looks like there. But yeah, that was a really, really fun, I thought. A good way to conserve space. 
And then on top, we have the Harry Potter table. But first, we got Wakanda on this chair. And then two of my graveyard sets on that chair. And then here we have the Harry Potter table. Over here, we have the Hogwarts Express and a bunch of characters at the station. We got the night bus. We got uh, Hagrid's hut. And then the Forbidden Forest. We got several scenes here. We got Expecto Patronum, all those Dementors fleeing. We got the Forbidden Forest uh, with Grop and Umbridge and the Centaurs. We got Aragog's Encounter. Uh, Quidditch game in progress. We got the Hungarian Horntail, the Wampin' Willow with the car, and we got uh, just some first years arriving, the Greenhouses, Buckbeak's Execution, and then the big, big finale is the giant castle I set up. Everything is connected there, and it's all it's all pretty cool. Actually, I had to buy a second room requirement to fit, because I used this one here, so I got another one to do the actual room, although it looks like some minifigures fell over in there. And if you guys want to see a more in-depth review or view of my Harry Potter table, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. This is just a quick overview, a little glance at everything, as it's not really time to go full in-depth. And over here are those minifigures I talked about. We got all the suit guys here, some of my favorite uh, characters up here, and then the best of the Disney over there. And that's pretty much it for LEGO, with the exception of the stuff that's hanging on the ceiling. I try to hang every kind of ship I can possibly find. We got, like, a bunch of dragons. Mostly you'll find, like, Marvel stuff. We got the helicopter up here, the Benatar, uh, some Ninjago stuff. Like, there are Kai and Jay's fighter jets. This one's from DC. And then we got, like, a bunch of Marvel stuff, Ninjago. The Helicarrier, which actually is hanging on two hooks. I use fishing wire and some just, like, J-hooks and everything to get the stuff in the ceiling. Another uh, Marvel ship, Harry Potter carriage, actually. Uh, another couple Ninjago dragons. There's a space poly bag there. That one is the only one I've ever had fall. That's because I stood up and my head bumped it and knocked it right off the hinges, which is unfortunate and kind of painful. And over here, we have Destiny's Bounty, which also is a two-hooker, because I'm really worried about that one falling, because it's a massive set. Let's go search through his dragons, some more Marvel stuff. That actually goes with the, uh, what was that, Jurassic World set that I got for the Dilophosaurus. And then just some more Marvel ships, my custom Lola, and a broken smoke detector, which I probably should get around to fixing, but I, I haven't yet. And that's all of the Lego. So now let's take a look at the stuff that's uh, not Lego. Over here is a piece of my middle school, which just got demolished a couple years ago. We got my, I made that in woodshop at the same school, actually. There's some miscellaneous rocks in it. A necklace from my best friend. Uh, some notes calling me a word I'm not allowed, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say on YouTube. Uh, a cute little bat there, my arrow of light from Boy Scouts. This was painted for me when I was born. I don't remember by who. We got my katana right there. It's uh, a little worse for wear. And then over there, we have some amazing art from my friend Sam, Pluto Sapphire. Uh, and she looked, oh my gosh, she is so good at drawing stuff. Like Gamora, Star-Lord, Groot, and Rocket. Oh, I love it. These have been Christmas presents and birthday presents over the past couple years. And I, I, I love them. Her art style is fantastic. That has a huge story behind it. That's from a, a scout trip that uh, National Youth Leadership Training. We had a ton of fun. That was it's crazy. I got my squid hat Susan up there, uh, my Gryffindor scarf from Universal, and then a bunch of glass animals, a snitch. Uh, the snow outside is a little blinding. The reflection is a little awkward. It just snowed like a couple days ago, uh, but we got some really cool glass animals there. My sister actually drew this for me when I hit 100 subscribers. Uh, really sweet of her. Brickman Dan, happy 100. My varsity letters over there. I got some pins for it. I just don't know where they are at the moment. And then I alphabetized all my books uh, by author's last name, and I set them up on this shelf this shelf, and then the one over here. And then I just put my favorites, like all the Rick Riordan books, Cassandra Clare and Sarah J. Maas go there because there's like special and everything. Uh, but yeah, if you guys ever want book recommendations, let me know, I have tons. Uh, we got my uh, hats right there, some fancy ones. Those are from when I was in like seventh grade, a long time ago. Got my pride flags, my Unis Honest banner, uh, some checkered flags. My friend got me those from uh, England. We got my Taekwondo belts. I just tested the black belt in February. That's why uh, that one's there. I'm really happy about that. It's been a long time since I tried uh, since I started Taekwondo. We got my recording studio over here. I got a whole ton of boxes here. This actually used to be a full closet like this one. I ripped out the doors, turned the shelf around. I, I customized it and built this, which I'm quite proud of. I got some scout stuff down there, some trophies, uh, some just books and binders. And then this is pretty much where I set sets that I'm working on reviewing. Like I just finished to review those dots bracelets. I'll see that out soon. And here's the actual studio. I got a lamp right here. Uh, there's another lamp that used to go here. Uh, move that over there to do Lego at night because uh, there's not much light in here. There's a power strip there that I plug everything into. I got these boxes and these I set up and I use it to prop up my phone if I need to do something higher. And this is actually that stand for the red brick, which I augment with different bricks and blocks and everything for when I do a review. And my phone just kind of slots in here. 
and turn on that light up ahead. And we got my reviewing station, which I'm gonna change a bit because I'm not sure how I feel about I went from this paper that I didn't like and I got poster board, but it didn't quite line up right and there's awkward black lines and tape. So I'm gonna try to fix that. I got some soundproofing foam. Is the audio quality any better in here? Uh, and that goes all the way around courtesy of my neighbor. Uh, it's really, really nice. It makes me feel, feel a little more professional. But yeah, that's the recording studio. If you guys have any more questions about that, make sure to let me know. And then over here, we got the closet with my Ravenclaw banner. And then we got my, uh, what is this, uh, kick pad or uh, my kicking paddle for Taekwondo. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then I'm going to go into that closet in just a second, but we're going to, we're going to wait on that. Over here, I got my, uh, dresser drawers. This is like a junk drawer. I don't even know what's in here, honestly. It's just some random stuff. Some Ninjago cards. Yeah. Uh, that is a thing full of stuffed animals. It has to be taped shut otherwise it bursts open. That's a box of manuals, actually. Uh, most of my instruction manuals are stored downstairs in the basement. I'll show you that now. And here are those manuals. It's not technically part of my room, but it's where I store them. Uh, I've got everything. Oh, that kind of ripped. We got everything in folders here. And then I ran out of room, so I got some other ones up here. This is mostly like Harry Potter and Jago, um, friends and stuff. That's some pretty cool stuff. But uh, let's head back to the actual room. You know, I keep them in that filing cabinet. These are ones that I was using to rebuild some sets. I got to go put those in the basement and file them away uh, safe and sound. Got some charges under there. And then I'll show you my desk drawers, I guess. Uh, this is just a junk drawer. It's got some pens, some stuff to hang. Oh, that probably should be sheath. Uh, that to hang. I, I use that to hang everything from the ceiling. And then this is just some technology. That's some Lego stuff. And then this is just pens and office supplies and everything. Those are all empty. And then this is my little sorting tray. Here we got a bunch of different miscellaneous pieces where I make customs. I, I was trying to make uh, Thor's mom. Ooh, she got, eh, it didn't really turn out great, so I kind of scrapped it and just dropped it in there. Uh, this is minifigure stands, brush separators. Uh, this is like a miscellaneous extra pieces, uh, stuff I use if I need it. Here's all my Marvel sets. Uh, these are all the sets separated by year in different bags. And then down here is like a minifigure bin. And then I'm actually my, my rolly chair. I like rolling it around my room. <laughs> and then here, this I actually, I rescued this. Someone was trying to throw it out. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll take it. So I sanded it down, painted it, and rebuilt it, cleaned it and everything. And I used it to store stuff. I got some Lego Dimension stuff in here, which I don't know where I'm going to display that. There's some sets I still have to rebuild. We got Bilbo's Hobbit House. Uh, this is a bunch of city stuff. Pirates and uh, some really old pirates I'm going to have to put somewhere. That's the Minecraft, uh, what's this, the Jungle Treehouse or something? And that's uh that's the Menace Mysterio set. Then we got a Pharaoh's Quest set and 2012 Caps. Well, that's the Pharaoh's Quest set. 2012 Caps bike. Some more dinosaurs. Um. Oh yeah, this is Harry Potter. Original Harry Potter stuff in there. And then some. Oh, that's like the 2001 Harry Potter set I'm trying to rebuild. And that's some extra pieces from the Harry Potter display. Ninjago spinners. Extra Ninjago pieces from. The fiasco with Kai's fighter, oh, with Jay's fighter, yes, excuse me, and then some extra minifigures. There's some more Ninjago stuff and Lord of the Rings stuff. Oh, I should have put that away. That was from when I did my Mario Suits review a couple days ago. Some miscellaneous pieces in there. I don't, hmm, that shouldn't be there. That should be up there. That's uh, Lex Luthor's mech, extra dimensions characters with toy tags. This is extra minifigures I bought off uh, one of my friends. Go Brick Me. What's this? Oh, Chima. And that's just extra stuff from display that I didn't put out. That's pretty much everything except the closet, which is a little embarrassing. We're going to go in there now. Uh, fair warning, these doors are pretty broken. Yeah, that doesn't even open. Uh, there we go. Up top, I have a whole ton of Lego boxes. I stack them all there. Got my outrageous Hawaiian shirts, some clothes in here. And then these tote bins. All of them are filled with Lego that is broken and mixed together and i regret that so so much all four of these bins are mine and they're filled with old lego that i i broke i'm trying to rebuild it i'm doing my best but it's so difficult and i feel so bad that i let it get that bad and then on the other side of the closet i got some three tote bins here these aren't actually mine i feel much better about them the bottom one is from a kid named joe he's the guy i bought the minifigures off of uh, i'm not sure what to do with that yet i might try to build some stuff back i might use it for spare pieces the middle one is from my sister, contains Lego friends and elves. And the top one is actually really, really cool. Uh, it's from my aunt. It has Lego sports stuff like the soccer stadium, a whole ton of really old Lego like that. If you want to see me go through that bin as, as a video, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the entirety of my room, guys.
If you've made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. I've wanted to do a video like this for so long now, and it means so much to me that you actually watched it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions or see any sets you want me to review, make sure to tell me in the comments down below. I won't know unless you tell me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy. I'm almost at 200 subs. I've... I've been able to, I, I've talked to so many of you in the comments, so many of you watch like all the videos and it means so, so much to me. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, duh, I've got stuff hanging from the fan here. And when I turn that on, they actually do swing around. It's a little scary, but I, I found that pretty cool. If you stay to the end, you get to see me almost get hit in the head by some flying Lego. And oh, that fan's on high setting. Let's turn that down. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm really glad I got to do this video. I'm really glad you guys got to see it. Again, make sure to talk to me in the comments. I love reading and answering and responding to all your questions, guys. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Again, I'll see you tonight for a LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar Battle. And uh, that's all I got. So thank you and have a fantastic and safe day.